The Internet of Things can make our lives easier. With a voice command, we direct a digital assistant to order groceries, start our vehicle, or turn on the lights in our driveway. In healthcare environments, the Internet of Medical Things can streamline processes too. And medical facilities are more connected than ever before. Today, nurses can view patient monitor data from their stations, data from electrocardiography machines can be automatically linked to patient data files, and radiology images can be accessed on mobile devices. These innovations are making delivery of healthcare more efficient and precise for patients. Take the wireless infusion pump a device present in nearly every medical setting. The pump was once a standalone instrument, but today's devices connect to healthcare systems, networks, and other devices. Networked infusion pumps include systems to help prevent overdose, alert clinicians to alarms, and connect to electronic health records. These connections can improve the healthcare delivery process, but they can also create a significant cybersecurity risk for healthcare delivery organizations, or HDOs. Tampering with the wireless infusion pump ecosystem can expose an HDO enterprise, and by extension its patients, to serious risks. Risks of Internet of Medical Things include access by malicious actors, loss or corruption of enterprise information in patient data and health records, a breach of protected health information, or PHI, loss or disruption of healthcare services, damage to an organization's reputation, productivity, and bottom line revenue. As the Internet of Medical Things grows, vulnerabilities and risk factors multiply, exposing connected medical devices and the HDO to external attacks, compromises, or interference. The National Cybersecurity Center of Excellence, the NCCOE, has developed cybersecurity guidance applicable to any connected medical device to help HDOs protect their networks by using standards-based, commercially available technologies and industry best practices. To accomplish this, the NCCOE's guidance recommends a defense-in-depth solution for protecting infusion pumps and their surrounding systems against various risk factors. This means grouping devices into zones, protected by an internal firewall according to the function that they serve for the HDO. By limiting access from other, less trusted areas, firewalls can more effectively protect the enterprise network. The HDO network architecture should include layers of protection, so the ecosystem isn't vulnerable to a single point of failure. The system should include controls that ensure access control and data protection. Researchers followed industry best practices, the National Institute of Standards and Technology Cybersecurity Framework, and the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act to assess a pump's potential risks. The NCCOE's practice guide, which addresses a number of risk scenarios, can help organizations reduce cybersecurity risk and potentially reduce impact to safety and operational risk, such as the loss of patient information or interference with the standard operation of a medical device. The guide is available as a free download from the National Cybersecurity Center of Excellence at nccoe.nist.gov forward slash healthcare. To learn more about securing the Internet of Medical Things, contact the NCCOE at nccoe.nist.gov. At